is going on? It's your girl Keisha. Welcome to my show, Undeniable Kiza. Okay, so we're going to be speaking about two very important topics. The first topic is George Floyd, and then we're going to get into Micaiah Bryant. So let's start with George Floyd first. So the entire world, you know, I'm, you know, was happy with the guilty verdict on all charges against the demon Derek Chavin, okay? So you guys already know him by that nasty looking evil looking devil that had his funky knees on George Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes and you could hear George Floyd in the video you can see him in the video crying out for his mama saying they're gonna kill me I can't breathe I can't breathe and that also became a hashtag you know what I'm saying um, he's not the first one to say it Eric Gardner was saying the same thing too as well so he has now been found guilty so everybody was crying and just celebrating and just in tear, tears of joy. But I just want to say this. That's not going to change anything. A guilty verdict. Yes, he deserves to be in prison. Yes, he deserves all the time. You know, he needs to be locked up in prison for life. And I stand by that. But that's not going to change the killings of more black people. You know, this has been going on for so long. You know what I'm saying? That was like a public lynching. You know, just because a, a police officer gets found guilty, and yes, it could be a shocker because most police officers are not found guilty. They get off scot-free. And the families and the nation and the community is just d left devastated and heartbroken. But this one, he was found guilty, but we don't know how long he's going to get. We don't know if he's going to file an appeal and get it because a Amber Geiger, a flat face, she is working on an appeal. So she's not even serving the entire time that her ass is getting. How you gonna walk up in a man's apartment while he's eating ice cream, chilling, minding his own business and mistaking his apartment for yours? Like who the hell does that? <laughs> like how do you not know your apartment from somebody else's apartment? Like you guys not gonna have the exact same thing in your apartment. Like stop trying to fool people's intelligence. It's ridiculous. And that's what these people will do. You know? So my thing is... There needs to be a radical change. And us, you know what I'm saying, protesting and so on and so forth like that, we've been doing it for a very long time and it's not getting anywhere. At the end of the day, we have to stay very vigilant, be very sober, and know that this is not going to end. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to take a further step than just, you know, the protest because it's not they're not listening and they're not comprehending or they are comprehending and they are listening but they just don't give a damn. So sometimes you have to take up a, a, a notch and just do things a little bit differently. It doesn't have to always be violence. But sometimes to get your point across, that's how mother suckers hear your ass. I'm glad to hear the verdict of George Floyd. I'm glad that he's found guilty. But I'm still dissatisfied because they're going to be killing more black people. Black people going to be left crying, devastated, hurt. We're going to, you know, we're going to talk about it. We're going to protest and it's going to be the same repetition, same cycle. We've been do, it's been going on for years since black people been in America. It's been, it's been going on for so long. Okay. So I'm not so crazy about the verdict. I just, you know, we have to pay attention, be alert and just know that, listen, don't get too comfortable in this society because one white guy got a, got a guilty verdict and that's not the norm. Don't let that fool you. Still stay vigilant, still stay on point, and just keep your eyes and ears open, okay? And we just have to just really, really, really fight this spiritual battle and this spiritual war because something ain't right with all of this that's going on, okay? So I'm not too crazy about about the situation. I'm glad he got the guilty verdict, but then again, are they really, 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 really held accountable for the injustice that they put on our, on black people, okay? So... Let's move on to Micaiah Bryant. So Micaiah Bryant, she's very, she's famous now due to her unjust death. So Micaiah Bryant, she's a 16-year-old girl. She was a 16-year-old girl who was in foster care, and she was shot down fatally by an officer by the name of Nicholas Rardon. So Micaiah Bryant foster mother Angela Moore revealed what led up to Micaiah Bryant's death. So there were also two foster daughters of Angela Moore that two of them came to the house to visit and to because it was a mother's birthday and they saw the house wasn't wasn't clean so the oldest one told the youngest and Micaiah to go ahead and clean and 
I'm not too sure if Makaya was younger than the other one. I'm not too sure of the ages. But I know the oldest one, from what is being reported, allegedly told Makaya and the other foster sister to clean up. And that's what led to a big argument. And the argument got so heated that it was taken all the way outside. But Makaya did call the police. It's so crazy how she's the one who called the police. She's the one that called the police. And she is the one that died. She was the one that got hit four times in the chest. But let me back up. So she, so they were fighting in the house. So the the fight got so crazy that it was it was taken all the way outside. Now I never seen the video. If you guys seen the video, you can put your comments down in the comment section. But I never seen the video. I don't think I want to see that video because it just it was just it would just hurt me to see that. Like I I just can't watch that. It just, it was just it was just it was make my spirit that's really ill and sick. So. So she grabbed the knife in the heat of the moment. She grabbed the knife to defend herself because like it's like two of them against her. Like she's outnumbered. So she so you can see a, a picture that I saw. Like she's lounging. She has a knife in her hand and a girl is against a car in the car and she's wearing pink. And you could see you could see Makaya like this and the little girl the other girl got her hands up like that and her you know like like in a self defense type position. And I believe at that moment that's when the police officer Nicholas Radon shot her four times in the chest. Four times in the chest. And for what I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but if you guys seen it, you guys can let me know, put in the comment section that he did not say put your knife down. He didn't give her a warning. He didn't fire a warning shot. He didn't try to tase her. He didn't try to hit her with rubber bullets. Trust me, she would have felt all of those things and he would have given her a chance to live and he didn't. Now he's saying that he was trying to protect the other girl and that was his job to do that. But my thing is why you gotta be so trigger happy? You know what I'm saying? That, these are all teenage girls. You know what I'm saying? This is a young girl we're talking about, a 16-year-old girl. Dude, seriously? At least hit in the leg, hit in the foot, something in the arm, but you got to shoot her. You make sure them four shots kill that girl. One bullet would have been, she would have dropped that knife with one shot, but you have to shoot her four times, dude. So the nation, of course, is calling for his head and saying that he should be charged with murder, and I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that. At the end of the day, they do not show people who look like Micaiah Bryant no type of mercy. We've seen it over and over multiple times where people who look more like Nicholas get a pass. And they're a little more lean, a little more patient. I should say keyword, more patient. Another keyword, more merciful when it comes down to people who look like them. But people who look at Micaiah Bryant, no type of mercy. No type of compassion. Nothing. You're not trying to work with them. You're not trying. You're not trying to talk to them. You're not trying to do anything. You're not trying to coach them and try to call her. Nothing. And it's just a point like when is this going to end? And it's so crazy because this officer seen, I'm sure, and know the hurt that the world, that America was feeling with George Floyd and the celebration that people were just having due to the guilty verdict and you gonna come and let people mourn all over again same situation a police officer killing someone that looks just like George Floyd it, it, it's like uh, it's like a slap in the face it's like a stab in the back it's like you're just mocking us you're, just, you're laughing at us because you don't take our lives seriously at all and if people really start rising up and really start getting crunk with it then you're gonna act like, oh, what happened? No, people are getting so fed up and so tired and I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised when people start really truly rising up and start going out for a blood because clearly people are protesting, nothing that is not working. These people ain't getting it, they're they not getting a clue. So I just think it's very unfortunate what happened to Makai Bryant. I don't believe and I don't feel she should have been shot four damn times in the doggone chest and that killed her instantly. They tried to revive her, but you get shot four times in the chest. How how likely is it for you to survive? I do believe he should be held accountable. Okay, yes indeed. 
and that's just you know how i feel so let me know how you guys feel about the verdict with george floyd also tell me how you feel about makai makaya bryant let her rest in peace let george floyd rest in peace and at the end of the day you know racism is very very well alive in america and i feel like our mindset and our spirit have to change so we can we can get things moving and we can really make true progression in this nation and to survive all right so let me know what you guys think all right so i'll catch on next video okay like comment and subscribe and i'll come back with another one all right peace